Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Jessica Eyes with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. An analysis released Tuesday by the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office shows that the bipartisan Senate Bill S-744 could reduce federal deficits by $175 billion over the first 10 years and by at least $700 billion in the second decade. With me today to discuss this development is ALA President-elect Doug Stump. Doug, what is your initial reaction to the CBO report? Well, the CBO's report is just more proof that bipartisan, common sense immigration reform will be good for economic growth and deficit reduction. Reforming our immigration system is a net benefit for our economy, American workers, and taxpayers. Uh, for our economy, this bill is what the Washington Post called a free lunch. According to the report, over the next decade, the bill would lead to a $262 billion increase in federal direct spending, including health care. But it would also increase federal revenues by $459 billion, largely from new income and payroll taxes. This would result in a net benefit of nearly $200 billion. Yeah, overall, the CBO report offers encouraging evidence that, as we've been saying for years now, uh, immigration reform would be good for our economy. This is legislation that will reduce the deficit considerably over the next 20 years, and its impact on the overall economy is unambiguously positive. Uh, in fact, if the bill is enacted, the CBO expects the real GDP to increase by 3.3 percent by 2023, and a whopping 5.4 percent in 2033. Will this analysis affect the Senate effort to pass bipartisan immigration reform next week? Jessica, this is exactly the kind of concrete economic analysis that immigration advocates should use to bolster their support for immigration reform. You know, I'm a fiscal conservative, and if I hadn't already been convinced that we need immigration reform, this analysis shows economic benefits you just can't argue with. ALA members should share this information, should share this report with their clients, and get the message out to, to all of congressional members. This is the sort of argument that everyone can understand. Uh, and as an immigration attorney, I'm even more hopeful now that Congress will be able to point to this analysis, use this report, and use it to enact real immigration reform. Thank you, Doug, for joining us. For the rest of you, please stay tuned for more updates through Immigration Quick Take from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.